Welcome Sagittarius, Didici here from astrology.com.au. It's a news update, a very important one actually, which is why I've taken a little bit of time, not a lot, I don't want to burden you with too much information, just to give you a quick snippet of this eclipse that for you is happening here in the ninth house, very important karmic house of your horoscope. Here's your sun sign Sagittarius, up here is the sun, the moon, the north node, and Mars, one of your best planets joining the company of uh, those involved in the eclipse. The ninth house is your past karma. When the eclipse takes place, the light of the sun is cut off. There's a shift in energy. It can be rather abrupt. And that's quite likely with Uranus over here taking part through its beneficial trine or 120 degree aspect. Abrupt but positive shifts. This is the fifth house of your future karma as well. So there's a very nice tie in here between what has happened, what you've done, what you've thought of. And yes, I go as far as to say it's what you think. Thinking is destiny and this is what this is teaching you right now. The way you think. And although most astrologers will relate to this ninth house as the house of ethics, religion, <coughs> all that sort of stuff. I think what this has to do with more is <coughs> an understanding experientially about how the nature of your thinking is affecting what's coming. Here we see this is directly affected by Saturn as well. Another triangular aspect. Look at the two of them here. Uranus, Saturn, and the tr all the triangular houses first. There's an angle and a triangle, fifth is the second triangle and the ninth is the third triangle. So this is a very powerful karmic eclipse for you, Sagittarius. <clears throat> and now that you've had this long-term inhibition and limitation by Saturn here, your dear friend who's been limiting you, we see it working well with this eclipse. The eclipse energy, the transformative power of this shutting off of the past karmic light giving you the opportunity to go bing hang on a sec i get it i understand that what i'm thinking what i'm projecting is what's coming back to me where i am right now is the the mirror it is the yardstick the the litmus test of how positive the the radiations from you are to feel those radiations coming back. That's, of course, the principle of karma. And that, for you, my friend, is what I think this eclipse is all about. For some of you on the more mundane level, this is a legal house, litigation, issues surrounding higher educational matters. This can sometimes present problems or delays, and we see here in your work the retrograde mercury giving you a bit of stick as well. Uh, that's powerful usually in the 10th house in its exaltation sign, but it's backed off here, making it uh, quite weak for the time being. And so therefore, it's also engaged. Your work planet, Mercury, is engaged with what's going on in this eclipse to help you understand also why perhaps the manner in which you're thinking, the discipline of thinking, is adversely affecting your work. It also rules the 7th house which is your partners, your marital partners, your business partners. All of these areas of your life on this mundane level will be affected profoundly by the eclipse of August 21st. Stay tuned and don't forget to take a look at those links that I've added at the bottom of the page here in your uh, newsletter. Much more information, around 3,500 words that I've put together to talk about Donald Trump, what's going to happen to him. I'm not going to tell you, you're going to have to go and have a look at it. Appreciate your time. Look forward to your company again in the future. Bye for now.